Hi, just uh, saying hello to, um, well, just to everyone. Um, just to openly say uh, to anyone who has a mental health problem or believes they have a mental health problem or feels, uh, you know, some large discontent, like something isn't right internally. Uh, you know, it doesn't matter where you're from, what language you speak. Maybe you don't understand English. Maybe someone's interpreting it. That would be strange, but, you know, just anyone like that. You know, I support you. You know, I hope you get better in your life. And um, just to realise that if you are in a bad place or if you're struggling at any time, that the world does get better and the world can get better. That things might seem impossible, uh, but that doesn't mean they are. Some things are impossible, but I don't mean like, I don't know, breaking down a, a 500 metre uh, thick wall with your bare hands. I don't mean that. I mean like if something seems emotionally uh, impossible, it doesn't necessarily mean it is. Maybe in this moment, it's emotionally impossible for you, but that doesn't mean it is, yeah? And uh, I'm sorry if that sounds condescending. It's not to sound condescending. Uh, genuinely, I'm, I care about you, and I hope that you're all right, and you have a good life. Uh, just to say that I support people with uh, mental health disorders and you know if you have a mental disorder and if you're struggling or you know someone who has a mental health disorder you're struggling or you have some large form of stress uh, you should go get help and whether you're a uh, you know well-paid professional or a business owner with a lot of money to someone living on the streets or you know whatever your situation is try your best to get help you are not invincible no matter how much you think you are and sometimes it's useful to get that help. Uh, the stigma of what people might think about you, you know, having a mental health problem or having problems, you know, maybe you're a proud person, maybe for 30 years you've been a proud person with no problems and suddenly you feel like you're punching a brick wall with your bare fist for 400 hours a day, even though there's not that many hours in the day, you know? Maybe you feel like you're walking uh, straight up a uh, hill that's millions of miles high and you can't get to the top of, yeah? For the first time in your life, you know, maybe you've got a lot of pride in yourself. You feel like you disappoint a lot of people. It doesn't matter at the end of the day. Because if you don't get help, you could end up degrading and degrading and degrading. But similarly, that doesn't mean you should be scared if you can't get help or if you don't feel like getting help. Just try and do what you can to make yourself feel better. If you can, try to explain to other people the situation, maybe in basic terms, maybe, the best you can say is, I don't feel too well, and you can't explain it's a mental thing. But maybe they'll understand the sentiment, you know? Maybe they'll understand the feeling you're trying to express. Or maybe you can't communicate in words, but maybe there's a way to communicate that, you know? And if there is, I hope you do that. But regardless, my message isn't just that you should get help, it's that you should get help for other people. And if you can't get help, if you're too proud or you don't think you should get help, get help from yourself, you know? Like, uh, realize that a lot of things that you do that might be self-destructive, the time that you spend worrying, like I've spent a lot of time in my life worrying, and I've just gone off and done stuff instead of worrying, because I could have worried, or I could have just done something productive with my life, and tried it. A lot of times it failed, a, a lot of times in my life I've uh, just failed, failure after failure after failure. And uh, at this moment in time, I'm not failing. And I'm happy and it's working. I might fail again in two years, yeah? But if I keep being afraid of failing or afraid of what's going to happen, I'm never going to get better. I'm never going to break out of anything. I'm never going to rise to new challenges and feel like I'm a better person by the end of it. So, you know, do what you can to help yourself as well. And try not to have those fears. And if you do have those fears, just say, you know what? I'm going to try a little bit. I'm going to try a little bit of something. You know, you, you, I don't know how severe it could be. Perhaps you could be bedridden all the time with physical disabilities too. But try, do what you can, every little bit. You know, inspire yourself with things that are positive. Maybe put pictures of people you love uh, across your room or whatever, you know. Maybe it's a very dangerous situation, in which case, you know, understand it and don't fear it, you know. Just understand that this is how life is and kind of try try to embrace it if you can, you know. Do what you can to put yourself in a better position in your mind.
that's uh, that's my advice and yeah this this doesn't just go to people you know random people on the internet it doesn't even just go to people uh, with mental health disorders it comes goes to the people out there who are nasty to these kind of people you know you have to understand that hurtful actions like this can cause you know real real world consequences you know try to acknowledge that you can help someone else and try to do it if you can't if you don't have the time or you don't understand the problems you're causing or you're not causing the problem very good on you or you know understandable but if you have time or you know you feel like you could do something for the world help someone like this maybe it's just someone on the street who looks uncomfortable ask them how the day is maybe they'll feel more uncomfortable and just uh, maybe apologize walk away but try that's the point maybe it won't work just just try just try to help uh, I'm, I when I came here I spoke awful Spanish and um, I was in Ecuador speaking terrible Spanish yeah uh, this this I, I was staying at like a hostel somewhere in Ecuador. This uh, well, I was kind of staying with a family there, and this young sort of teenager, I think she's sixteen, seventeen, something like that. She had run away from the house and just she, she just had a party uh, with her family. I I couldn't speak very much Spanish at this point in time, uh, and you know I sort of understand we had to find her and do something. Now I was shitting it. I, I didn't even know what I would do. I didn't even know if that was what was happening properly. I kind of guessed it because she wasn't around, and people looked panicked and were sort of walking around a room looking for something. But I had to do something because the right thing to do was to help these people in this situation. Because what was happening was, you know, it was like eleven o'clock at night, twelve o'clock at night. She's a woman in a busy city on her own. A young one who's vulnerable and it's, it's the middle of the night the district we were in wasn't particularly uh, particularly nice it wasn't extremely dangerous or anything but wasn't particularly nice you know and she she was vulnerable she was in a bad state of mind you, you know what's gonna happen maybe someone will be nasty to her maybe she'll do something ridiculous you never know and so we all went and looked for her and I, I didn't even know what I was gonna do like uh, it's more dangerous for me out there because I'm a bloody, I'm a foreigner. Like, I can't even speak the language. I didn't even know where the fuck I was properly. If I'd have gone just 12 blocks too far, I would have been lost for about six or seven hours, yeah? But the right thing to do wasn't to sit in my room and just let that happen. I had to help this last, yeah? Because I was in a stable place and I had the power to do it. And so I went looking for her I found her because she has a brother who has uh, uh, quite severe autism and sort of physical disabilities and he couldn't walk properly he didn't really understand and her mother is quite short and obese she wasn't she wasn't going to be running very far you know um, and so I found her I hugged her I explained somehow in very bad Spanish you want to see family you should see the family that was it. That was all I could say. And I don't even know if I said it properly. Now I know I did. But in the time, I had no idea. But, you know, I hugged her. I made her understand. I didn't want anything from her. That I just wanted her to be all right. Just just with those emotions. And that was the right thing to do. Now, that's a really nice story. And it makes me sound like a great person. Yeah, that, that's great. I can feel really proud about that and egotistical. But that's not why I'm sharing the story. My point is, if we all did stuff like that, and if we all do do stuff like that, we won't have as many problems. You know, if, if we're able to trust everyone on the street, if everyone on the street is like that, we should be all right, you know? Wherever we are, we should be all right. Whatever language we've got, whatever problems we've got, as long as we've got people who are understanding and willing to put themselves on the line and willing to throw off their worries and do something and help someone, should be all right and that's the way we should look at uh, mental health and uh, social problems i think anyways to my friends in the uk uh, those with and without mental problems i miss you i still think about you i know uh, i've got my new life and you know i'm very happy i am very happy uh, but you know i still miss you guys i still think of you i've moved on from that life before but I still think about you. I still remember the good times we had. 
and I still remember you know a lot of you guys with uh, mental health problems you know and you know I hope the best for you I remember leaving the area and uh, you know remembering a lot of my friends with problems uh, but you know it, it goes to you guys as well I still think about you guys I still uh, still love you sounds a bit corny weird to say but it's true you know I have a lot of good memories with you guys and it's not the memories it's uh, the presence of you I remember having you like like a ghost in my mind but a, a ghost that when when the ghost touches me I feel feel kind of happy you know so it goes to you guys as well and everyone out there you know I hope it goes well for you and yeah I'm a person who supports uh, people with mental health problems Thank you very much. Goodbye.